What's up guys, RK here. And Lee K and Keahi. And you know, we realized that it's been a, a while since we sent an update, so today is your update day of what we're doing, what's going on here in the ministry, uh, what's happening here in Waikiki. And you know, we've been plugging away, doing our, doing our, uh, you know, we do, we do ministry on Tuesday nights, and then we have church on Sunday nights, and so we had a cool thing happen on a Tuesday night, um, last week, two weeks ago now. So Kalike just wanted to share the story of what happened with a guy named Jacob. All right. So every Tuesday, we go down to Waikiki and we like to hand out uh, food and just talk with the homeless people down there and pray for them. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had a guy named Jacob show up for pizza. And he was actually so jacked up from alcohol that he was just shaking. He asked us if we knew of a detox center or something, you know, some help. And anyway, but he was so, he was in such bad shape that we ended up having to call the ambulance. And they, they carted him off, but not after we prayed for him and told him that Jesus could, could heal him. And Jesus loved him and wanted to see him get better. So, um, so last week he actually came back and he was sobered up. He wasn't shaking anymore, and uh, he had actually brought uh, one of his friends with him named Cindy, and Cindy is, is one of the, the working poor that we have here, and she, she works, but then to cover her bill, she has to go and pick up cans and, and bottles that they get five cents a can in a bottle. And uh, she was telling us that Jacob actually had an encounter the week before. He said... Yeah, he said um, that this was the first time that he really wanted to get sober and actually believed that he could do it and um, and yeah. he was he was actually sober that following week when he came to get pizza and stuff yeah and so um, he was actually able to get himself a plane ticket back home to Seattle and uh, he said you know what? I need some things for the trip I was able to give him some some clothes because he is about my size and so <laughs> so your size <laughs> So, so he, uh, I gave him some of my clothes, I gave him some toiletry stuff, we took him out to lunch, made sure he had a bag, and we sent him off on his way. And so uh, it's just cool to see that uh, pizza on a Tuesday night was actually able to basically impact and change this guy's life uh, forever. And so pizza, uh, pizza and, a, and a blessing of love will never fail. Pizza plus love. <laughs> All right, now to RK teaches. So uh, I've been doing this study late, lately about the, the seven churches of Revelation because um, Jesus is specifically looking at specific things in the church and he actually likes some things and he doesn't like some other things. And so I've been wondering, uh, what is Jesus actually looking at in our church? And one of the things that I saw was uh, he looked at the church of Sardis, I believe it was, and he says, you guys have a reputation. He says, specifically, you have a reputation for uh, reputation for being rich, but you're actually poor. And so what this told me is that Jesus actually knows the reputation of the church, of the church, uh, uh, New Life City in Waikiki, or the church in Waikiki. He actually knows the reputation that your church has in this city. So I've been asking myself this week, uh, what do we want to be known for um, as a church in the city? And I, you know, I want to ask you that. Uh, if you're part of a church, uh, what do you want to be known for in your city as a church? Not just as an individual, but as a church. And and as I've asked this, uh, you know, I realize that we want to be known as the church that serves and helps this city. And so we're specifically working on some some um, some different things and training and ways to help the city so we can serve people uh, in the city. So let me ask you that. What? What do you want to be known for in the city, you know? Uh, if your church was to leave tonight, would the city actually miss your church? So, that's my question. That's what I've been learning. <laughs> RK teaches. All right, now to <laughs> other news. So, the end of July, we're actually coming to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And, you know, we want to connect with our friends, our family. Those of you who are on the list, Bob and Catherine, we want spaghetti. And we love eating, we love New Mexican food, and we miss it very much. So uh, we would love to go eat with you, have a meal with you, 
Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing everyone in New Mexico. Yeah. And big news. No, we are not pregnant. Um, I'm, I'm finally going to write. That was, it was so big, Evie had to say something. <laughs> Woo! I'm, <laughs> I'm finally going to write uh, my first book. Um, it's going to be the Causing a Jesus Epidemic Teaching. But what I want to do is I'm going to be actually doing a six-week uh, webinar teaching where I'm going to teach the material. And from that, that's where, that's where we'll create the book from. So if you'd like to sign up um, for the Causing a Jesus Epidemic course, I will be sending out a link. And it's going to be free webinars. And you get the training. And... You know, if you're cool enough to sign up, I might even give you a copy of the hey. book because it's gonna be awesome. So anyway, I just I just wanted to say that um, I know we're very thankful as a family for all of the the love and support that we have from from all of you, and it means a lot to us. You know, and I just I mean it's it may be hard to believe, but it is it is difficult. Yeah. To plant a church in one of the most expensive places to live in in the United States, so in the world, and um, yeah, I mean it's it's had its challenges here, and um, we really we really do love and uh, appreciate having having a support system, having people that um, love us and are praying for us, and you know want to see this thing happen, you yeah. know, as much as we do. Yeah. So a big thank you to you guys. We couldn't do it without you. We love you. Uh, we wish you the best. And really, if you're in New Mexico, we look forward to hanging out with you. And, um, and we just love you guys. <laughs> love you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.